Good evening, friends and family gathered tonight to remember the life of a 15-year-old Cibola High School student hit and killed at an Albuquerque intersection. Police believe the driver who likely hit the teen was fleeing from officers in a stolen truck and is still on the run tonight. News 13's Brittany Bade has new details in the case. Dean and Jess, 15-year-old Manny Tapia was walking home from the movies last night near Cottonwood Mall. But police do not know who hit him. They released new photos tonight of some people who might be involved. You just destroyed our life. Destroyed our life. Just in one split second. On his way home from seeing a movie after his shift at a kiosk in Cottonwood Mall. He was on his way back from seeing the new Spider-Man movie that he absolutely loves. Police say 15-year-old Manny Tapia, who friends describe as a kind, outgoing boy. He didn't like leaving other people out whenever we were hanging out at lunch and other people were just sitting alone. He would invite them over. Was left alone by a hit-and-run driver. I don't know what they could have been doing so detrimental that they could not stop. And now my son is dead. Police say shortly after midnight, officers spotted a stolen GMC truck like this and tried to pull it over. But APD says when the driver fled, they stopped the chase, called the truck into dispatch, and turned around. And our policies do state that we do not engage you know, a stolen vehicle that's fleeing unless it's, there's some sort of life and death uh, situation because we don't want to put the public at risk. Soon after, officers heard a dispatch call about a crash at Coors and Ellison. They figured it might have been that same truck and turned around and headed to the scene. No truck was at the scene, but police say it is highly likely the stolen GMC Sierra is involved. Tonight, Crime Stoppers say they need help identifying these people they believe have information about the crash. What that other guy did is terrible. The growing memorial at the intersection where the crash happened. And the large number of people who showed up to the vigil is not surprising to those who knew Manny. It's hard to put into words how much of a friend Manny was. All there to remember the 15-year-old artist who liked dressing up and had big dreams. He always wanted to grow up and just be something Great. Manny's mom says his artwork was featured at the Hispanic Cultural Center last year. He was about to start his sophomore year at Cibola. Jess? All right, heartbreaking. Thank you, Brittany. Police say the truck is a dark blue GMC Sierra pickup with license plate 716 TJC. They say the right front headlight is out. If you have any information about the crash or the people in the photos, call APD.